We're not funny. We're a very serious couple. So we let our laughter out in little pieces. There you we go. Don't, you we know. don't let it build out. Yeah. We don't get laughter frustration. This is the first time I've ever felt safe, truly safe, and love for who I am, mm -hmm. truly for who I am, accepted for who I am, and you know, it's I've, I've spent all my life seeking this experience right here. 50 years of my life wanting to love and be loved and, and, and experience what I'm experiencing now with Darlene. And I suppose that I had to figure out how to find that, how to, how to own that I deserve that. Because I guess I didn't believe before in my life that I really deserved it. And so that's where those two divorces came from. So I married young. I married the first woman who said she loved me. And I knew I was too young, I knew she was too young, but I figured, you know, we could make it work and love conquers all. And, and for me, it was about love and being in love. And 10 years later, we got divorced. And I really learned a hard lesson that, you know, love don't, doesn't conquer all. You know, love by itself cannot make a relationship work. And that it does take two. I got married young. I got married when I was about 22 and was married for about 23 years. It was tough, it was a tough road. I, I didn't feel safe for most of my marriage. I didn't feel, um, I certainly didn't feel validated. I, and I didn't really feel loved for who I was. Um, it, it, was it was painful, it was frustrating and painful. I really longed to understand, you know, how do relationships work and how can we have a successful marriage and a family and, uh, it, there was a lot of pain. It was very painful. The reason I really got divorced was because I believed so strongly in marriage. I knew, I knew that I could find a marriage where I felt safe and content and just absolutely in love with my partner. I honestly believed that there's a strong likelihood I was gonna be alone for the rest of my life. However, I still had hope I still had that yearning, that longing since being a child. I wanted to love and be loved. I did not want to let that go. When I met Darlene, it was almost like a miracle. Wow, you know, what I really want is right here. I knew it was out there, and I mean, I'm living it now. So here I am with the love of my life.